Hello there, my friends. So I'm playing Yellow Sabine deck in Star Wars Unlimited against Han Solo and uh, Green Solo. And so can Yellow Sabine beat Green Solo? Yes, sometimes. Let's play a game and I'll show you what's going on. So uh, this takes a lot more effort than Green Sabine to navigate this deck. Um, Right here, in fact, should I take a mulligan? I could put out two one units, or I could take a mulligan. So um, it's risky because I know that uh, Solo has in his deck um, the Echo Base Defender uh, Sentinel, and so I think okay, I'm not going to take a mulligan. I'm going to try to play with uh, the Zerg. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to resource the Falcon, which is a f really foolish thing to do, and resource this uh, Rogue Operative. All right. He brings out a Battlefield Lieutenant um, Marine. That's a great card. Um, I'm going to lose initiative because he's going to just, like... Yeah, he started with initiative. I, so I'm going to go ahead and use my action ability to attack each base, for one. Because he only has a 25 base. This makes it a lot easier for us. All right, I'm going to play R2 because I get to look at the top card of my deck. And it's a Lothal Insurgent, which is not my favorite card. So I'm going to put it on the bottom of the deck. Yep. And then I'm going to um, play this... Spec Force Soldier, which normally I would keep in my hand because um, it can defeat Sentinel, but I don't have anything else to do. I want to get two units out here. You know, theoretically I could attack him and defeat him, but he's got an initiative, so he's going to attack the base first, probably. Let's see. Oh gosh, I have sneak attacks galore. Well, I was going to play for a cause with three resources. I guess I'm going to resource one of these surprise strikes, which is insane. But I'm going to do that because I really want to see my next four cards. All right, so he's going to attack. Oh, how about that? He attacked R2. That was really dumb of him. So I'm going to take out his... Um, Spec Force so or his Battlefield Marine with my Spec Force Soldier, or should I just hit the base? No, so I'm going to do that. So I'm going to attack him there. Boom. Now he's going to be able to put out another unit, and he does, and he takes out mines. So now he's got a unit in the field, and I don't. That's not good. All right, I'm going to play my card and deal four to his base, hopefully. Nope, three to his base. All right, so sneak attack's nice if you have a good unit to buff out there. I don't have any units in the field. I need units. So I'm going to rearrange these cards so that this one sneak attack at last. I'm going to have four resources next round. So, this is not good. I wasn't thinking. All right, so, ah, uh, let's see here. How about if I Well, what I could do, okay, so I can use a sneak attack when I um, turn over Sabine. And I can use that. So that's two. And then I'll also use, I want these guys. I want my fleet lieutenants. All right, let's do it this way. All right. All right, so I've already lost initiative. So I'm going to use the action ability to... Ping both bases, 
and then I'm going to pass. Uh, this is the big turn round here. So if he puts out that echo based defender, uh, it's not what I want. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to resource one of these sneak attacks or surprise, surprise strikes. I'm sorry. All right, so he buffs him. All right, I'm going to play the Alliance X-Wing. I'm going to action ability hit both bases. And then I'm going to action ability bring out my leader. And I'm going to play Surprise Strike. Well, and Sabine and hit the base. So now I'm ahead on the base. All right. And this is nice. I like this. So I'm going to resource sneak attack, I think, because I need all these units right now. Two, one. That would make him ready. Hmm. Actually, I think I can bring out all three of these if I don't know. I have to resource something. So that'd be two plus that'd be five and six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's not enough. Okay, let's play it this way. So I'm going to. This is hard. I think I'm gonna let's just do this and see what happens. So I'm gonna resource a fleet lieutenant. Okay. That was a really bad move, wasn't it? I shouldn't have done that. Alright, so Sabine's about to die. So I need to attack the base with Sabine. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play sneak attack. Bring out Fleet Lieutenant, attack with Sabine for 14. Okay, Fleet Lieutenant dies, he's going to die anyway, so that prevents damage to my base. Now I can attack with my X-Wing, and I need nine more points to win, and I take initiative. All right, give me some good cards here. Okay, so this is good. So I don't need to resource either of these cards. And the Millennium Falcon will come out ready. So what I'm trying to do here, ah, uh, Dodonna. I hate Dodonna. Well, I can't really do anything about that. So basically, I'm just going to attack the base for three. So now I need six to win. And I'm short one point. So I can't win on this round. So I can attack for two. I can play the Millennium Falcon and comes in ready. I can attack with a Falcon and get to within two points. Okay, I can bring in, well, actually, I can introduce Sabine, but there's no point because really what I want to do is take the initiative. Because if I take the initiative, all I have to do is attack with one of these two, and, and we're good. And he can't introduce a uh, sentinel here. So I'm not going to resource anything. I'm going to keep the Malayan Falcon in play. And I'm just going to attack with the X-Wing to make it exactly 25 and win. So you can see you got to kind of um, play smart. Uh, obviously, this time, uh, the solo deck, my opponent, did not come up with any Sentinels. But when they do, it's hard. Um, so 
I'll probably do a couple more videos like this to show you what happens when that happens, and it's really touch and go. But it it seems like yellow Sabine gives me more options than green Sabine, which is nice. So uh, I guess I'm going to keep playing with it. I'll play with it this week uh, if I play live, and uh, I hope you guys have a great day out there. If you have any questions, let me know. I'll see you on the next one. Take care.